Hey, Grammy T from Grammy T Knows. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to change your background with a person with hair. <laughs> Stay tuned. First of all, you want to make sure that the person that you're going to be taking out of the background is on the top of the background layer. And you can see that here. This is the person that's going to be um, removed and this is the new background. So then you're going to come up to here, select and select a mask. Okay. And you want to come up to the view mode and, and as you can see, the person's not there. Where is the person? They were on top of the layer, but that's no worries because you're just going to lower the opacity. And there you see, I'm coming into the picture into full view. Now you're going to go up to the top and select subject. Make sure you have a clean, clean separation. And you see that here. So we analyze and we see that there are no chunks taken out of the, the image. So the, the next thing you want to do, I mean, you can zoom around, zoom in and just look to make sure zooming in. So once you make sure that that's done, you're going to come down to global refinements where you see you have more control of the mask and you're going to start with smooth and this allows you to smooth out all the jagged edges. You don't have to do a whole lot, just enough to smooth it out. Feathering you don't want to mess with. Now, um, contrast, you do want some contrast because that will sharpen the edges for you. Look at that. You don't want it that sharp. So you don't want to, you, you don't want to do a whole lot, just enough to sharpen the edges out some. And then shift edge, you don't want to mess with that at all. Then you're going to come down to output settings. This is where you're going to save your, save what you, the work you've done. And typically, if this is not open, it will look like this. You click on that arrow and it'll open it up. So the selection that you want to choose, you're going to come to the arrow, drop down arrow, and you'll choose layer mask. Okay. And then just click OK. You're done with the global refinements. Now you want to go in and, you know, refine the hair a little bit more. So you're going to do that by clicking on the mask layer right here. Just double click and it'll bring this option to select and mask. And you're going to come back to the onion skin so that you can see what's going on. And so to refine the hair, you're going to look up here and you see right here, it says refine hair. Now you can either choose refine hair. Photoshop will do the work for you, but you can also come over to the refine edge brush tool and you can go through it and you can, re and because what you're cleaning up, you see how that that's there. You, it's not going to show up as much on, on here because the background is almost, you, you know, close to what you've um, extracted the person out of. So, but you can see there, there, you know, there's some issues here. You see that? That was in the background in between the hair. And I used to just give everybody a haircut. I cut all this off. <laughs> it's crazy. I would cut it all off. Photoshop has made this so much easier. So you take your refined edge brush tool, make it a little, you can make it a lo little larger by um, using your bracket keys. The one on the right makes it larger. The one on the left makes it, um, makes it smaller, your brush smaller. So you're just going to go around and you see, you just go in there and clean all that up. You see that? See, I would have in back in the day, all this hair like this would have been gone. I'm going to show you. I would have been doing this right here. Trying to clean it up. So it would fit on that background. <laughs> the person would come out with a haircut. I'm telling you. You all, I used to cut everybody's hair. I would cut all this. Because I wouldn't know how to fix it. I'd cut it right off.
And I'm sure these people probably were saying, I thought I had more hair than that when I went in to see that, to get my, my, um, my pictures done. Why is my hair so thin? <laughs> Just that quickly, the background has been changed for this, um, this particular image. And this is something that you can do. I believe you can do it. If you would just follow the instructions that I showed you in this video step by step, let me know if this worked out for you. I want you to try it and comment in the section below and let me know if you have any questions or if it didn't work out for you, let me know. If I need to make any modifications in the training here. So with that, Grammy T will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.